Bonjour and hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make bamboo la, also known as jo hyong la. Um, and this dish is super nostalgic. I grew up eating this as a kid because my mom would make this for us. And it's just a very, very delightful uh, side dish to go along and pair with rice and grilled meat. Um, I love eating this, especially with crispy pork belly. So this dish is really great for the summer. And the thing about making la is that there's so many ways you can make la using different proteins using different herbs and spices but today I'll just show you the basic seasonings that you would typically find in la yeah it's gonna be super simple but also very very delicious um, depending on what you eat it with so let's go ahead and start making this bamboo shoot la let's go okay so the first thing I want to do is to cook the bamboo shoots but before I do that I want to season the actual water to make it a nice seasoned broth before we actually cook the bamboo shoots so here I have a pot that I put in about four cups of water in there. I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt. It's about two teaspoons of salt. I have some crushed white pepper as well. White pepper goes really, really well in broth because it gives it a really nice subtle spice to it. And then I have some cilantro roots that I'm going to add in there as well. We grow cilantro in our backyard, so usually when I take out the ashra roots, I'll wash it, rinse it, put it in the freezer. If you guys don't have cilantro roots, you can definitely use cilantro stems. It goes just as good. Go ahead and add that in there. And then why not? I'll add in the stems in there just as well since I have it. And I have some onions and some smashed up garlic here that I smashed um, for in about a quarter of an onion here, not too much, you don't need much in here, just to season the water a little bit. We'll add that in there as well. So we're going to let this simmer for a good 10 minutes. While this is simmering, let's go ahead and take care of the bamboo shoots. And we're going to wash it and cut it a little bit smaller to boil it. Okay, while the broth is simmering, I'm going to take care of the bamboo shoots. And this is the one I'm using today, the one in the can. Uh, if you guys were curious which one I'm using, this is the Steam Burr brand. Um, this is just the preferred bamboo shoots that my mom and I like to use. Bamboo shoot tips in water. This is a 1 pound 14 ounces can, but when you drain it, it um, usually weighs only 1 pound. And I took it out and I rinsed it a few times because, you know, anything in canned, I usually like to rinse it before I use it. Um, and they come out like this. They look like this out of the can. But if you guys have access to any fresh bamboo shoots, you can definitely use it. It'll be really good. So what I like to do before I go ahead and boil this and cook it up is I'll go ahead and cut this in half here. That way um, you can cook out the bamboo shoots a little bit better and also flavor it inside as well. Bamboo shoots pretty plain in terms of its um, taste. So um, that's why I'm letting it boil in a seasoned broth so that it has some kind of flavor within and then at the end we'll season it even more so yeah so we're gonna cut this in half you guys can use a cutting board feel free to but I'm just gonna do this because it's not much anyways if you have smaller ones you don't have to cut it in half it doesn't really matter okay so this is good let's go ahead and set this aside and then while the broth is simmering for 10 minutes after 10 minutes we'll add this into the broth and cook it out I've been simmering the broth for a good 10 minutes now. Let's go ahead and add in the bamboo shoots that we cut up in half. At this point, you're gonna let it simmer and boil for a good 10 minutes or so just to cook out the bamboo shoots. And then after that, we'll drain it and cool it down. Okay, so I finished simmering this for a good 10 minutes in the broth. I strained the liquid and I'm gonna let this cool uh, while we do the sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the dressing. So I have a big bowl here that I'm gonna pretty much toss all of it together in here. So the first thing I'm gonna add in is some minced garlic. I'm using about two small cloves. If you guys have big cloves, probably use a big one. Really up to you how much garlic you guys like in there, personally. I have some chicken bouillon seasoning here. This is optional if you guys don't want that umami flavor in there and the extra flavor, you don't have to add it in there, but um, since bamboo is pretty plain, it kind of needs this actually. So I'm gonna add that in there. You can also use mushroom seasoning, it's really up to you. I have some lime juice as well. Again, the thing about making la is that, you know, 
different people have different preference towards more sour, more sweet, more salty, more spicy. It's really up to you how much you want to add in there in terms of sourness and um, saltiness. Um, next is fish sauce. I'm going to add in some good quality fish sauce in there as well. And then I'm going to add in some chili flakes. Again, you guys can add more or less depending on how spicy you want this. If you guys want, you can also use fresh chili peppers chopped up, but I'm just going to use the dried ones today. But like I said, making la, you guys can make it as spicy, sourness, as sweet as you guys want. It's really up to you. It's all preference. I think that's one of the hard things about this type of dish, making la in general, is that there's so many different ways to make it. People make it their own style so in terms of the sauce and the actual dressing this is where you can make it your own as long as you know what ratio goes with what and then i'm going to add in some chopped lemongrass i took about two lemongrass chopped it really fine if you guys want some texture you can leave it a little bit more rougher so you can actually taste it but if you guys want it a bit finer chop it a little bit more finer go ahead and add that in there mix this really well and this is about it for the actual dressing. Set this aside and I'll show you guys how to shred the bamboo. And then after that, we'll add it in here and out all the other herbs in there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of the bamboo shoots now. Uh, once they're nice and cool enough for you to handle, you can definitely go ahead and start shredding them. Some bamboo shoots, there's some parts that are a little bit more tough. So if it's really tough, you can go ahead and just cut it off. Um, which some of these tend to have like the tough parts here. It's a little bit too rough to eat So I tend to go ahead and just chop it up, but I'll show you guys how I like to shred these out This one is actually pretty good. It's pretty soft to use So the tool I'm gonna be using is this bamboo screwer So I'm gonna use a bamboo screwer that's very tipped sharp tip to actually shred it So all you're gonna do is place this flat down and you're just gonna take the bamboo screwer and you're just going to go back and forth, back and forth like this to shred it out. And if you don't have a tough part here, you can flip it over and do the same thing. Kind of shred it up. And the bamboo screwer does get kind of uh, dented after you finish a few of these, which is fine. But after a few times, you guys can see, just kind of use your hands, your fingers to shred it even more if you want like that and that's about it you pretty much have shredded bamboo boom and if you notice that the, sometimes the bamboo is a bit too long you can definitely go ahead and cut it it's really up to you yes yeah, so I'm gonna continue doing this until all the bamboo is used up if you guys notice that some of these parts are a little bit tough just shred it from the tough part bottom down And then you can take a knife and just cut that area off and, you know, finish shredding the rest here. Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> but if you guys notice that this part is still tender, you know, go ahead and finish using it. Don't waste it. And then this tough part here, just discard it. We'll use it. You don't need to use it. But yes, I'm gonna continue to finish shredding all of these bamboo shoots here. And then after that, we can mix it in to the dressing and add in the herbs and we'll be done. It's actually pretty, pretty easy. Very, very delightful salad to have to eat, especially during the summertime and very easy. All right, so I finished shredding up the bamboo up. Nice and shredded. If you guys want, I, um, you guys can probably stir fry this if you want that stir fry flavor, but you know, I grew up eating it just boiled. My mom would just boil it. But I personally haven't tried it stir fried before. But yes, I have the dressing here. Let's go ahead and add in all of the bamboo up. And we're gonna add in some herbs. The herbs we're gonna be using today Pretty simple, nothing uh, new. 
we have some sliced green onions i have one shallot that i sliced up some fresh cilantro from our garden um, organic is always so delicious and then i have some soft tooth coriander or also known as culantro so up to you you guys can add basil you can add mint you can add dill but these are the herbs that i grew up eating my mom would mix all of these into the bamboo and these go really really well with the bamboo so we're gonna add all of these into bamboo and last but not least we are going to add in some toasted rice powder and toasted rice powder we tend to make a huge batch of this and always have it in our pantry but you guys can find this at any local asian grocery store in the seasoning or dry good area you might have to ask them or you can also make your own which is pretty easy you just have to toast some rice in a pan for a while until it gets really toasty and nice and nutty and they put it through a blender and um, you'll get a powder like this what i like to do is if you're gonna buy toasted the rice powder from a store i like to heat it up in a pan uh, to get it even more toastier so you can get the aroma in a little bit more same with this these are the ones that we make at home but what i like to do is every time i use the toasted rice powder i always put it in a pan and let it toast for a good like one or two minutes to get that aroma going um and get it kicking again so i'm gonna go ahead and add all of that in there and this is what makes it so delicious and delightful go ahead and mix that up now in our family we like a lot of herbs in our lab so if you guys don't want a lot of herbs you know you can always use less at this point you guys can taste it and add other ingredients more into it usually whenever we make this we always taste it and add more of this and more of that but again I like to eat this as a side dish you guys can you can definitely eat this as a meat entree but other than that this is it go ahead and taste it and then you can serve it with some rice some grilled pork sausage whatever you guys like and enjoy it let's go ahead and plate this up So I typically like to eat this dish as a side dish. Eat it along with some rice here and some grilled meat. You guys can make pork belly, you can do beef, chicken, fried chicken, whatever you guys like. It actually goes really, really well. Put on the side like that with my dish and then pepper dip as well. And that's it. 